<laughs> Could you put another quarter in? And my mother's like, I'm gonna put a quarter in, but this counts as a ride. <laughs> Time of our lives, man. But anyway, my kids spoiled, but they get in trouble like everybody else. Right? So one year, Lola is going on a class trip. Now she goes to the best schools in the world. So they, you know, fancy school, fancy trip. And they, her class goes to Portugal. The fuck is that, right? <laughs> when I was a kid, we went to the Bronx Zoo <laughs> and watched a gorilla jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> and then had to write a report about it. <laughs> he held it tightly. <laughs> So Lola goes, Lola goes, and they're in Portugal, they're doing whatever the fuck you do in Portugal. And somewhere in the trip, Lola and four of her little white girlfriends decide they're gonna leave the class, sneak out, go to a bar, get drunk, and sneak back in. Of course they got busted. And these schools don't play. The schools wanted to kick them out right away. But, here's the thing. Rich fancy school got rich fancy parents. And them white people do not let their kids get kicked out of school. So all the white parents got lawyers. Even the ones that were lawyers got lawyers. <laughs> and they got them good lawyers. They got those NFL rape lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers is good. Them Deshaun Watson lawyers. So I didn't want to get a lawyer at first, because I was like, I was mad at my daughter. I was just pissed off. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? First you're biting, now this. <laughs> and I didn't want to get a lawyer. I was like, this kid needs to learn a fucking lesson, you know? This kid needs to learn that her actions have consequences. And I told my, my, I told my, my ex-wife that. I said, let's wait before we get a lawyer. We don't have to do whatever these other people do. And my ex-wife's like, you're fucked up. We get a lawyer now. We're gonna sue this school. We're gonna sue this dean. How dare they even let her get out of their sight? I'm suing everybody. And I started to argue with my ex-wife, but you know, but then I realized the last time I argued with my ex-wife about a lawyer, I lost my house. <laughs> so we got a lawyer, and the lawyer said, "Hey, just give me ten days." and I will work this out. Give me 10 days and I will have your daughter back in school. So Lola's home, right? One day I come home from work, I see Lola outside laughing with like four of her friends. Like, you ever wanna just punch your child? <laughs> <laughs> so look at this motherfucker, right? So I walk up to Lola, I said, what's so funny, Lola? And she's like, daddy, stop it. Stop being so serious. I'll be back in school in no time. And I was like, look at this smug motherfucker. <laughs> She's just used to getting away with everything. She just knows she getting back in school. And at that moment, I made a decision. I fucking snapped. Right? And I left Lola, and I went behind her back. And I went behind the mother's back, and I went behind the lawyer's back. And I went up to the school, and I found the dean. And I was like, hey. I know you're going through it. I know you got all these parents trying to sue you and trying to sue the school and trying to get you fired, but I need a favor. <laughs> I need you to kick my daughter out of this school. <laughs> I need you to kick her black ass out of this school. I need you to teach her a motherfucking lesson right now before she grows up and becomes an influencer or some other dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked up. They kicked out. They kicked them all out, but they kicked my daughter out first. And then I left and went home and act like I didn't know what was getting ready to happen. And the phone rang and Lola got the phone and they gave her the news. And Lola comes into the room half like, Daddy, they kicked me out of school. And I was like, really? <laughs> Those crackers are mean, Lola. <laughs> and to this day, Lola has no idea I was involved in that. 
lawyer don't know, yeah. her mother don't know, the lawyer don't know, and they won't find out till they see this shit on Netflix. Yeah. But here's the beautiful thing. It worked. The whole thing humbled Lola. Because Lola had to apply to another school. And Lola had to write essays about why she got kicked out of school and why it would never happen again. And even when it was time for Lola to go to college, she had to write essays about why she got kicked out of high school and why it would never happen again. And now, Lola's one of the coolest kids I know. Lola's fucking great. You know, my daughter Lola goes to a culinary school in Paris. Yeah. My daughter Lola goes to culinary school in Paris. I consider it my greatest achievement. Fuck a Emmy, fuck a Grammy. My daughter goes to culinary school in Paris, motherfucker. Okay? I kept her off the pole, okay? I mean, put it this way, put it this way. My mother was born in 1945 in uh, South Carolina, right? My dad. Can't get no more racist in South Carolina. <laughs> and my mother used to tell me horrible stories about her childhood. My mother told me when she was a kid, it was against the law for black people to go to a white dentist. Right? And if you couldn't find a black dentist and you needed your teeth taken out like all children do, you had to go to a vet. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. I'm talking about my mother. I'm not talking about Harriet Tubman. I'm talking about my mother. She's alive, motherfucker. You know, my mother got her teeth taken out at a fucking vet, okay? Okay? And that same woman who had to suffer the indignity to get her teeth taken out at a fucking vet gets to get on a plane, fly to Paris, and have coffee with her granddaughter who goes to Paris, okay? Okay, Rose Rock is your victim. Okay, motherfucker. My daughter goes to culinary school in Paris, which which means someday I will own a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> or at least a food truck. Yes. Yeah. So I'm for you know what? I'm pro trans. I'm pro choice, man. I got these daughters. I'm equal pay. I'm all for equal pay.